farts on three. One, two, three, farts! We have a special guest today, Minnie Mouse Balloon. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Grace, this is my husband Wesley. We are here at Epcot's International Festival of the Arts for their opening day and I'm so excited. I don't think I've been to an opening day of a festival in like a really long time. Have you been, you went to Festival of the Arts? Yeah, I went last year. Yeah, this was the first festival we came to when we moved here. Anyway, all that to say, we are stopping by here real quick before we go on our staycation. So stay tuned for that vlog shortly after this one. But we're gonna go in and take some fun pictures and try some fun treats and see what all cool things that's what the arts has to offer especially with there being new social distancing guidelines so i'm not really sure what to expect but it'll be fun we'll see you guys inside so this is actually new this little install thing was done a couple of days ago it was unveiled like last week so that's really pretty there's no more like big walls here anymore. They have these galleries all spaced out around the countries, but when we rounded the corner from Mouse Gears near Test Track, they actually have almost like a farmer's market set up where you can look at the galleries and I'll show them now. It's beautiful. have all kinds of space markers to make sure that everyone is staying plenty distanced from one another they're not clumping up too much and no one is getting too close breaking COVID guidelines we just posted up in Morocco with some treats our first eats if Get this out, our first eats of the festival. I got the warm brie cheese um, in a bread bowl from France, and he got a blue corn papusa, which is something. I don't really know. It looked really good. All right, we're gonna try them. Wesley is so hungry, and I'm gonna try mine first. Mm. Oh my gosh, that just warmed my inside so much. Is it cheese or is it like mixed with anything? Mm -hmm. Cheese or something else. Uh. Right? There's something in the blue corn thing. Whoa! Is that good? Both well, of these are so good. That's really flavorful. This is just really warm. Would recommend. Alright, we're gonna enjoy it and we'll see you guys after. So I must just be dumb, but I didn't know that the festival center was open during like Festival of the Arts. So we're going in now to check that out. cozied up right now it is shorts and he wore shorts i'm wearing like a sweater a turtleneck and a sweater and i'm still freezing right now so 
these are the entertainment they're offering right now for Festival of the Arts in the American Gardens Courtyard Theater. Let me show you guys what that looks like. Right in here where we watch the Voices of Liberty at Christmas time. So you have them pretty spaced out to equate for social distancing and still let everyone see all that they want to see. Oh my gosh, y'all, these look so, so, oh my gosh, my voice literally cracked. I got so excited, whoa. my voice cracked. These, whoa, uh, thank you. Oh, the light, what an what a YouTube, Insta, everything boom. boyfriend, husband. I mean, oh gosh, we're married, wow. okay. Anyway, wow. uh, sorry, sorry. Anyway, the donuts, these are called, what are they called again? I don't know. Bombolito, okay, after Bombolini. that disaster, Bombolini, Bombolito, they're donuts that are filled with cream and they has raspberry on top. Killing me. You guys, I am a mess right now. I'm cold and I'm hungry still. So we're gonna try these real quick. Okay, so this is our bomba needle. We're each gonna take one and try it. Cheers. Oh my god. Oh my <laughs> so good. My word. That is phenomenal. Okay. That wins a festival. That was delicious. Do you like it? Yeah. I think it was more. awesome. Did you even get these to go? Like, one. oh, fine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you even get Uber Eats these on like a Saturday morning. Oh my gosh. A dream. Are you cold? Just a little. We looked, it's like 55 degrees right now. We're headed to the China Pavilion because Wesley really wanted to try this like spicy shrimp stuff that I'm also excited about. Oh yeah. goodness. Whoa, that looks so cool. Okay, this is, um, what is this called, Wesley? It's like Szechuan hot mala shrimp or something. Yeah. <gasps> the presentation is literally everything. Chef's oh kiss. my gosh. Okay. Oh, I swear. <laughs> <gasps> okay, y'all, I have a disaster tonight. As I tell y'all, I literally spilled raspberry sauce on my Randu Anthropology sweater. Oh, thank you. It's got like pasta, like ramen on the bottom, and some sauce, and some arugula, and then the shrimpies. Did I get my whole, whole own shrimpy? You put your own shrimp. <laughs> the little things. Try the shrimpy. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I didn't really like it that much, and I feel bad. But it's just not my favorite. I like it. I kind of, I, I kind of agree with you. It looks yeah. like it's gonna be a lot more flavorful than it is. Those donuts, though, in Italy. I'm still thinking about them. Last year, they had these things. They hadn't had them for festival to holidays. Like I get that they wouldn't put them out for like another festival, but they had these crab rangoon, and it was so yummy. Like maybe my favorite fast food ever. There's a bunch of treats though that I've tried in past Festival of the Arts that I wanted to save since I've already tried them once and I wanted to try just a new stuff in this one. But my favorites here, the Deconstructed booth, they have a Deconstructed BLT that is to die for and their Deconstructed Strawberry Cheesecake is really, really good. And the Moroccan um, flatbread is one of my all-time favorite festival foods ever. Like last year, I got it every single time I came. So this is not gonna be my last time going to Festival of Arts. This is just a little peek into the season and I'm gonna show you guys some more of the stuff that we pass on the way out as well. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell, but there's a big barge right there. That is the new barge for the new fireworks show, Harmonious, that's coming to the World Showcase soon. And apparently during the day, it's gonna be this really pretty fountain. And then at night, it's gonna be host of the fireworks light show, whatever. So I don't know if that's the only barge. I thought there was more than one, the day but it's gonna be like a cool waterworks display. So that's a good side note that it's actually in the lagoon. So maybe it's coming soon, I have no idea. dark but they have these murals they've taken advantage of all of this construction wall space and made these fun little murals and this is what you're supposed to do have a photo up and you get to stand like you're a butterfly and it's so cute i love how epcot is taking advantage of all of this space that they have to display art and encourage guests to participate in the art too so we found the paint by number area the land is right here and it is done like this they have it spaced out and numbered by paint splotches so that you can paint by number safely 
and you still get your little, from what I'm assuming, you still get your little canister, and that's also how they're making sure that one area doesn't just get like devoured at one time, which is really cool. A unique way to do it while still being extra safe. We got so cold that we had to get Starbies on our way out. I got a chai latte, what'd you get? Um, it was a jade citrus mint tea with one pack of honey and a little bit of steamed lemonade. Keeping us warm because we are the ding dongs who forgot gloves and jackets and all of that stuff. We're going to check out the fountain at the front of Epcot because apparently it shoots up light at night and it's supposed to be really beautiful. I don't know if you can see it. Whoa, there you go, you can see it. That's awesome. What? You can't even focus on it. That is insane. So we just got back from Festival of the Arts and I had such a good time. Festival of the Arts is one of my favorite festivals and I'm glad I got to bring Wesley with me again. Um, my favorite thing I had was obviously those donuts in Italy. They were so good. I would definitely recommend getting those. Donuts were definitely the best. Yeah, that was like one of the more expensive things we had, but it was well worth it. It was so good. The pupusa was also good too. I think that's what it's called, blue corn pupusa. And I love the brie bowl, but I would love anything that has brie in its title. Bread and cheese is just a combo that is undefeated. So obviously I'm going to be coming back to Festival of the Arts several more times, so be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and be sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Bing! Speaking of upcoming videos, where one vlog ends, another begins, we are actually about to start our staycation vlog for our trip at Coronado Springs. This one was kind of sprinkled in there when we realized that Festival of the Arts actually opened today. That's coming soon, which I'm really excited to bring you guys along. And then if you're not already following me on my socials, be sure to do so. I am the Sunny SG on Instagram and on TikTok. I hope you guys have a sunshiny day, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Mm -hmm.